5 million kina of the provincial budget has been allocated to the Babafi Trust Church Partnership Program and another 5 million as Widow Mama Assistance Grant. Speaking during the budget session at Tutumang House, Kabum MP Patrick Bassa believes simply handing out money to citizens is regressive. <laughs> You will not encourage him on SME. You will not encourage him on, on programs where only empowering more youth. I was a youth with a mission. Basa believes youth and technical and vocational training programs should be supported to empower and encourage young people instead of handing out money to groups of people. He also stated that safe houses for women seeking refuge from gender based violence need government support. I believe some of the missions will come up in Sha. They live for long and start with the events when they can die or the injuries and kind of them. Plenty of mothers who live in some violent aspects, they are running for or refuge to almost gonna hide. Almost gonna stop on her from what takes him. What in that law can protect him all. Also, come back from mental health people on Sha Hema, leaders. It has been for so long. You may must stop him slow. Man must have of Nagisim money. Throw you make a Unemployment program, program is not a country. Not more of the alone, but it's not a country. You may not encourage me. SME. SME is also going to provide real employment. Basa gave as an example his roof overhead program in Kabum, where the DDA supports projects initiated by locals. In response, Governor Luther Wenge said all concerns regarding the provincial budget have been taken into consideration and a budget review will be conducted in three months' time. Salome Vincent, TV1 News.